Hi, welcome to my uh, little studio. Today I thought I'd like to show you how to paint this little air dry clay baby hair, well, small hair, young hair. So I've painted him with various different browns and some yellows. I'll post them as to what colours they were. And as I go through the next demonstration, I'll show you exactly what colours they are. So I thought I have another project on the go, which is these large, um, they're going to be boxing here, so there are two of them, and they're going onto a piece of wood, so they are connected, uh, and there's a second one to do, but I thought it'd be a nice project to actually show you how to do this, as it's very similar colours. So, just getting prepped, uh, I'll fill up my glass with some nice clean water, okay, And I need to clear that out, so I need to actually take that out of the video. Okay. So I'm just filling up my glass with some clean water. And I add some water to a, an acrylic block. The first colour I'm using is titanium white. So the titanium white is quite a strong colour. I do dilute it quite strongly with water and I use the nice thick rounded edge brush that's soft it's quite a big brush it also disperses paint really well it's one of my older more loved brushes um, so I'm just brushing onto the titanium white onto the white belly and in his inner legs as well so I write down his chest in his inner legs and down his belly just a light coverage at the moment, they will get heavier as we go along, but this is just a light base coverage. Under his chin and down his neck, I get into all the creases that fall in there. Keep adding some water, this is a wash and it isn't um, a strong paint colour. Then I do the tops of his nose and his muzzle in the same. So now I've swapped, I've swapped to a Naples yellow. So I've mixed the Naples yellow with the titanium white. I'm going to do coat his outside of his legs, the outside of his belly, trying to avoid the white area that I've already painted. Then I take a spritzer, it's a very light white, filled with water, and I spritz. This helps to give it coloured coverage and it also helps to blend the titanium white and the Naples yellow together slightly so there's no straight strong mark. Just doing his back legs completely cover with this as a light coating. Down his back, and I'm just doing the outside of his upper arms, coating completely, turn him over, then I proceed to do the other side in the same way. Titanium white spray, just to give it that movement of water, and just brush along. There's it. So as we're going through, we'll get the first coat, a very light coat of the Naples yellow and, and titanium white spread over his feet, the paws, as I say, the outside, his back area, and any of the outside areas that we didn't coat with the, ti poop -poop with the titanium white. So once he's come, we are just, oops. So once he's completely covered in the Naples yellow and the titanium white, we'll be able to go to the second coat. So I'm just lightly brushing over all of the outside areas, 
and uh, we can um, go to the next level and the next level of pain. Just finishing up now and sure that making sure that everything's covered. So I've completely covered his outer body. Titanium white underneath and then the Naples yellow and white as a second layer. So I'm just gonna go now to the third colour. So the third colour is a raw sienna mixed with Naples yellow and titanium white. So I use about one part raw sienna, one part Naples yellow and two parts of titanium white. Mix them all together with some water just so that it blends nicely so it's not too dark and it's not too dark a line against the second coat we did. So just brushing him over. I give it a quick spritz to make sure that the paint is moving and there's, there's fluidity still there and so that they blend. You don't you want them blended, you don't want strong lines. You want a natural look, not a fill in the lines look. <laughs> okay, so we're just blending him. If I've got too much on I take the paint and the water off the brush so it's fairly dry and then ru run the brush along and as you can see they just took off some of the excess paint that I didn't quite want on there Now I'm going to take my uh, craft air dryer. Um, it's not a hair dryer, so please don't use one. And it's not a um, paint remover. It's a craft it uh, craft dryer. I can't think of the name for it. Um, and it will heat so you keep the gun moving at all times otherwise it will burn because it is quite strong so a little bit of spritz of water dry off the areas the reason I do this is so that when I turn the piece of art over to do the other side uh, I'm not going to leave finger marks because I've dried it slightly if you lift it when it's wet you will have to go back and you will have to touch up the areas that you've touched which so it's that's why I dry it with the gun the heat gun okay So now I'm just So now I'm just wiping off some of the excess paint where I don't want it and where I want some highlights and 
brushing over with a lighter colour just so it's not too heavy in certain places brushing his paws onto his back around and just slightly in his inner ears sorry he's slightly out of focus okay so I've covered the top of his head and the upper part of his chest and neck just a little inside the ears his paws just finishing up touching up making sure that I've covered all the areas when he's finished give him a little dry with the air gun the heat gun turn him over and dry him off so now we should be ready for the next coat so I'm going to turn him back to the beginning make sure he's dried off Now I'm going to add a slightly stronger layer to this. So I'm going to mix up some burnt sienna, a little bit of Naples yellow and some titanium white, but more a lot more heavier on the burnt sienna this time. Just going to mix that in a little while. Okay, so now you can see I've an, I'm adding the third layer, which again heavier in the crevices where you'd expect there to be shadows along his back and to the higher portion of his back. So I'm just applying this to the upper central portion. A little bit around his belly to blend it in. When he dries, you'll be able to see three layers: so the white on the bottom, the second, the second layer of Naples yellow, and then the third layer of the raw sienna, Naples yellow and white, and then the fourth layer, sorry, will be your burnt sienna and your Naples yellow. And you can see there that they starting to get a build up of layers just brush along his hips under his arms and where you as I say where you'd expect to see the shadows just into the crevices and grooves around his rear area and then moving down his back I'm sorry that's a little out of focus There we go. Back into shot. So now he's fairly well covered. His muzzle's covered, his upper back's covered. We've got the layers going on. So now I'm going to add more of the burnt sienna. So I'm going to add the burnt sienna and, and I'm adding a touch of, um, it's red oxide. Uh, it's just gives it a slightly heavier reddish touch to it as most animals do have slight red within their fur. So I'm running it along his back this is quite a heavy colour, so I'm going to do up the back of his ears, leaving enough 
of the top of the U's so you can actually see the other colours still coming through so I've mixed that with quite a lot of water I'm running this along his body his arms oh sorry paws down to his paws along the inside of his legs where it would you again where you would expect shading to be so I'm putting this on fairly liberally brushing his paws okay touching up around his legs and again any of the joints where you would expect it to be darker and heavier in colour I'm adding more paint to so move him around just touching up and this is your darker burnt sienna along the top of his nose under his muzzle now I'm going to do the other side exactly the same thing making sure that um, you're covering well that you're covering the crevices still using the large brush we're not into the fine detail yet so that will be your fourth layer fourth or fifth brushing his toes into the backs into the crevices he's starting to look like a little bit of a hair now I've taken some water washed washed the brush off and now I'm taking off some of the paint near his belly area where I've put a little bit too much on and I want it to blend so I'm just removing that with a dry clean brush again any of the areas that you'd want highlighted so I'm now taking a wet wipe a baby's wet wipe and I'm going to apply the wet wipe to the areas again that I want there to be a lighter colour to or that I want a highlight so as you can see as you rub it over you take off some of the paint and you'll get that back to that white or the other layers which will lighten it for you I'm rubbing around his muzzle because I need his muzzle to be fairly clean and white then taking it along again where you'd see the highlights along his upper arms outside upper arms and his neck area this is where you'd expect the light to hit and you'd need it lighter and you'd need um, more of a highlighted area so just removing some again around that center line of his body where the light would hit along the back of his rear legs along the cheek bone any prominent areas really that you'd like highlighted I'm going to rub his belly off because the titanium white which is the first coat will now be fairly dry so that will remain on and the other coats should be easily removed so that you have a whiter belly so <clears throat> if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it'd be greatly appreciated and watch along for uh, my next sta stage of this video look forward to seeing you then bye